Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my first non-video lecture YouTube video. Uh, this is to commemorate my channel getting 1,000 subscribers. Yay! Uh, thank you for the support. Maybe I, I, did, I didn't think it would get this far. I, I haven't uploaded any content for the past year. So I have it's mostly video lectures, right? But uh, my video lectures will be uploaded now to the official account, YouTube account of our department. Okay, so uh, since I have a thousand subscribers now, maybe I'll do something for for learning, right? So basically, uh, this channel will still be dedicated to learning engineering concepts, but uh, maybe. Some I'll discuss some topics that I want to discuss, not necessarily lessons, uh, maybe experiments and whatnot. So we'll see where it will get, right? So for this segment, I would like to introduce the Adam Pluto. Okay, this is a software-defined radio, as we call it. And uh, software-defined radio is used to uh, prototype different communication standards and protocols okay so you can use this you can program you can program this to have a behavior that you want you can program it to become a Wi-Fi module or router rather you can program it to become an FM radio receiver you can even program it to transmit FM signals okay? but it has a limited power only you need a power amplifier to transmit to very long distances but if you don't have a license do not transmit okay if you don't have a license to transmit do not transmit Okay, right. so this is for educational purposes only created by analog devices okay I am in no way affiliated with analog devices All right so uh, in this video I will show you how to use this software defined radio uh, with Windows okay and that's where it takes us Right, so just so you know you can buy this online it's around 300 US dollars or 15,000 Philippine peso okay so it's for Filipinos of course that's 15,000 is uh, it's already big actually okay so but if, if you have uh, the chance to buy it go buy it if you want to learn more about communication systems and so on and so forth I highly recommend buying it actually it's uh, it's a radio with a tra one transmitter and one receiver, so you can actually create your own uh, communication system using this without going through the nitty gritty RF design and so on and so forth. Just need to program it. Okay, so yeah, highly recommend it. So without further ado, let's uh, let's start and see how we can use this radio in uh, with uh, Windows okay, with, with with a host computer. So first things first, uh, let's examine what's the content of this SDR uh, Adam Pluto box. Okay, if you open it, you will see uh, these uh, two cables, your SDR, and two antennas. Okay, so that's the content of this Adam Pluto box. All right, so the Adam Pluto has one transmitter. And one receiver. Okay, so you can see the uh, labels right here, and it has two ports for data and for power. Data will be connected to a host computer. Power is connected for an external power. Although you can power up the device using the data cable, that's fine. Okay, so if your device is not working, it could not be getting enough power from your data cable. So that's when you need to connect to an external power okay so of course uh, one cable is intended for the data okay? it's a micro USB and USB A to be connected to a host computer uh, SMA cable one SMA cable for loop back okay and you have two antennas one for each port okay? I don't know the frequencies of these antennas probably around uh, 300 megahertz above okay so we'll see as we experiment, right? So before you get started on just connecting the device on your computer, uh, first things first, you need to download what we call GNU Radio Companion that you see right here, okay? So this is the website. You can just search uh, GNU Radio 
Windows with uh, Pluto SDR. Okay, and you will be you will find this website under Analog Devices, and you can download the installer. And once you install, you will be able to run the GNU Radio Companion. Uh, you'll get this. So GNU Radio Companion. You'll spell it. It's GNU Radio Companion. There we go. Okay, so that will be the program that you'll use. Okay, so now. Uh, to set up your device, okay, just connect the host or the data cable to your computer, okay, via one USB port, right? Okay, so indicator indicates that the device has been powered. Okay, so we just wait for your computer to respond to it, and this folder will be open okay sorry there we go this folder will be open you can configure your device using config.txt right here okay so if you double click that file you will get this text file right here okay so this text file okay uh, you can configure your network settings okay so you need an IP address to assign to the Pluto and your host machine so that you'll be able to interface this device to the machine okay so to check if you have been connected to your SDR okay so you remember the IP address you can just go to a command prompt okay and type IP config this is Windows sorry there we go and you will see this one an ethernet connection okay and your address is 192.168.2.10 so the uh, the host device is your computer you can find the Adam Pluto by pinging dot two dot one and you should be able to get a response and you will see corresponding blinking on your Pluto so let's see that again blinking okay there we go so now that you have successfully uh, connected your device to your computer you can now uh, let me just move this here you can now interface your radio with your computer using the Pluto SDR sync and Pluto SDR source the sync means you're going to transmit something so the signal source will be inputted to the sync and you will be transmitting something okay the source would be you are receiving something and you will you would want to display it okay, let me just oh, sorry you will want to display it on a GUI okay so this block here the Q QT GUI sync you will be able to display the signals that you're receiving so the purpose of this program that you see here this block diagram is basically anything that uh, you will transmit through the transmitter and you will receive in the receiver this program is best demonstrated by connecting a loop back to your radio okay so never never ever run or never ever try to transmit something don't ever try to transmit something without any connections to your transmitter so an open circuit in RF uh, RF systems is the same thing as a short circuit right that's something that you can refer back to in an electromagnetics lecture okay so before you transmit make sure that you connect a loop back so this ensures that anything transmitted in the transmitter will not be reflected back to it making sure that your device will be okay so I've connected the loop back let's see if when we run okay so oh yeah I forgot to mention that if you double click you will see the properties okay so let's leave it at this 1 gigahertz transmission a sampling rate of 500 kilohertz as seen here okay attenuation of 10 dB that's the transmitter the receiver also the same device URI so that's the IP address of the device so on and so forth there we go 
Okay? So I'm trying to transmit a 10 kilohertz cosine to the Pluto SDR. Okay? So, oh, there's something wrong with the sampling rate, I believe. The sampling rate should be larger. Okay, let's try 1 megahertz. Okay? So, I'll try to run this. Okay. And this window will appear. There you go. So this is the QT GUI sync. And it has four different types of displays. The frequency. We transmitted a 10 kilohertz cosine. So yep, this is around 10 kilohertz. Okay. This is a complex cosine, so a positive frequency means a positive shift. Okay. So the time domain you have well you have some semblance of a cosine carrier waterfall display is basically just your uh, frequency spectrum over time okay constellation is not much of use here because you're not transmitting any digital modulation in the first place so but if you transmit a cosine you should be able to see a circular pattern if your uh, real part and imaginary part is balanced Okay, it's not balanced here because I disabled the controls of balancing in the radio. Okay, so how do we know if it's actually the one transmitting, right? Let's try to change the frequency. Say 1 kilohertz cosine. And run it again. Okay. So is it the correct frequency? Yes, it's around... 0 0.001 megahertz that's one kilohertz and this is your time domain so as you can see it's not perfect okay there is uh, it's not it's an indicator that the device is not really optimized but as you can see we, we are able to transmit a one kilohertz cosine uh, from the transmitter and it's received by the receiver okay maybe let's try oops sorry so let's try some higher frequency. 100 kilohertz. Okay. 100 kilohertz. And you got, yep, 100 kilohertz and with some harmonics. Okay, since the transmission is not perfect. Alright, so you can see the frequency becoming higher. Oops. And a constellation display, still circular. But as you can see, we are able to transmit. What happens if I disconnect the receiver? Right? So don't do this. Don't ever do this. Right? But I will do it because I can. But don't ever do this. Right? So as you can see, the signal level went down. Right? And we're not receiving anything, but there's still some... Uh, 100 kilohertz here. This is the leakage within the device. So the transmitter is leaking towards the receiver and this is the leakage basically. Okay. So connect it back and you will get the signal back. Okay. And that's the introduction to your software defined radio. Okay. So GNU radio is quite useful. You will see different uh, blocks here pertaining. Oh, sorry, uh, let me just move this. <laughs> here we go. You will see different blocks here, okay, corresponding to different uh, parts of your communication system. You have a digital television block here, actually. But uh, in the Philippines, we use ISDVT. It's not used here, it's just DVDT and so on and so forth. We won't be able to use this here in the Philippines. Other things, uh, math operations, free analysis, OFDM, you have digital uh, digital signal processing, resamplers, uh, and here under industrial IIO, this is where you will find the Pluto SDR block and other uh, software defined radio blocks are found here. Okay, and so on and so forth. So, you can see how powerful this SDR is when learning about communication systems and that concludes the video for this uh, for this
commemoration of 1,000 subscribers. Okay? So I hope I can keep everyone entertained. Uh, I'm doing this as a hobby. And I hope you get to learn more about communication systems. Right? So that's it for today. Uh, next time, maybe we'll try an FM radio. Let's convert this to an FM radio and we will play that back here. You will listen to different radio channels here in the Philippines. You will be able to hear it from my laptop. And uh, I guess that's it. Thank you for listening and see you next time.